हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ए एस डी फिजिक्स अकेडमी आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो सॉल्व क्वेश्चन ऑफ द डेट टू स्ट्रेंथ योर कॉन्सेप्ट लिंक इन वीडियो डिस्क्रिप्शन नाउ लेट्स सी टूडेज क्वेश्चन टू पैरल इन्फेनाइट लाइन चार्जेस विद लीनियर चार्ज डेंसिटीज प्लस लैमडा कोलम पर मीटर एंड माइनस लैमडा कोलम पर मीटर आर प्लेस एट डिस्टेंस टू आर इन फ्री स्पेस वॉट इज द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड मिड वे बिटवीन द टू लाइन चार्जेस so according to the question i have taken two parallel infinite line charges separated by distance 2r let's take first plate is having linear charge density lambda and another plate is having linear charge density minus lambda then to calculate electric field at midpoint that means at a distance r from the positive plate similarly at a distance r from the negative plate the concept is whenever a infinite line charge is having positive charge density lambda then at a distance x the direction of the electric field will be always away from the positive plate and its value in vector form is given by lambda by 2 pi epsilon not x where x is the distance of the point from the plate and to calculate the direction we know that the direction is along the positive x direction and we know that along the positive x direction unit vector is i cap so here we will just multiply with i cap okay similarly due to negative line charge having linear charge density minus lambda at a distance x the direction of the electric field will be towards the plate okay and its value in vector form that means e2 equal to lambda by 2 pi epsilon not x into we can see that again direction is towards positive x direction is it that means again i cap one most important thing we have to remember that when we are drawing the direction of the electric field current we have to just use the magnitude of linear charge densities you can see that here also i use lambda here also i use lambda okay now in our question due to the positive line charge electric field at a distance r will be away in this direction let's take here this is e plus and its value is given by lambda by 2 pi epsilon not r just here x will be replaced by r into i cap similarly due to negative line charge direction of the electric field will be towards the plate is it let's take here this is now e minus towards the plate okay so this is given by lambda by 2 pi epsilon not r again this distance is r distance between the point and the plate and direction towards the positive x direction there we have to use the unit vector i cap okay now electric field at the midpoint will be the vector sum of these two electric fields that means e plus plus e minus e plus is the electric field due to the positive line charge e minus is the electric field due to negative line charge so now we will put the values here lambda by 2 pi epsilon not r into i cap from here plus lambda by 2 pi epsilon not r into i cap from here now net electric field at midpoint is given by lambda by pi epsilon not r i cap this is given in vector form now the magnitude of the electric field at the midpoint will be lambda by pi epsilon not r 